Okay, good morning, everyone. I want to call the Board of Directors meeting for the Strangest District to order. We'll start with a roll call to establish quorum. Good morning, David Fuentes, mm -hmm. Precinct 1. Eddie gone through Precinct 2. Ellie Torres, Precinct 4. <laughs> Speak up, Commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Pertes, County Judge, that constitutes your quorum. This is the same. Would you please lead us in yes, the prayer? Yes, sir. Surely will, Judge. Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. Father God, we continue to seek your clarity and your peace of all of us currying our country today. You know, we know you're with us and for us as we get to seek your counsel. We continue to pray for the judge and four commissioners that have appointed to lead this great county of ours. We pray for our mayor, school board members, city council, police chiefs, district attorneys, sheriff, judges, and all who serve our local communities. Strengthen them with your wisdom and grace for the heavy burdens they carry. May they continue to manage their teams and projects with love. Keep their hearts pure and their eyes turned to your face as they work in the best interest of the people they're called to serve. We continue to pray for the first responders and their families, Father God. We lift them up to you. We ask for your grace, love, and wisdom be granted to the doctors and nurses dealing with the ill. We ask for your hand of peace and comfort over them and their families. We lift up to you all those that are battling illnesses. We continue to pray for all that are dealing with illness. We ask for your healing hand over them. Provide their families the peace that you can only bring through your son, Jesus. And we praise you for the healing that has come through you. We continue to pray for those souls that have passed, and may they be at peace, resting at your side. We pray for the strength of all that have lost someone. May your strength carry them through all, and your grace, love, and mercy be over them. Heavenly Father, you are merciful, gracious, and kind. May we never doubt your mercy and love, nor hesitate to seek you with confident trust in order to obtain the gifts, graces, and daily provisions we need to live as your beloved child and constant friend. Lord, help us always to remember who we are, where we come from, and where we're going. Surely, love and mercy, your peace and kindness will follow us always. Scripture reminds us the more we seek you, the more we will find you. May we seek you in everything we do, and may we always work as we're working for you. Lead our serene hearts to the path of your peace today, and ask all this in the Son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Did anyone sign up for an open forum? Mr. Magnus? There are no people signed up, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. That's all. Next item, the approval of the consent agenda. Yes, sir. Everything just normal operating procedures. Everything's in order. Recommend approval. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge. Uh, item 5A, approval resolution recognizing Dow County Drainage District 1 for their outstanding achievement in receiving the certificate of excellence and financial reporting. So this is the fourth year that we've received this award, and I have uh, my CFO, Ms. Briones, and our, and our team here, and Mr. Salazar will read the resolution. Come on up. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Hi, Ms. Salazar, for the record. Um, resolution recognizing Hidalgo County Drainage District Number 1. Whereas Government Finance Association of the United States and Canada, GFOA, has awarded the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting to Hidalgo County Drainage District Number 1 for its annual comprehensive financial report for the fiscal year ended December 31st, 2020. And whereas the report has been judged by an impartial panel to meet the high standards of the program, which includes demonstrating a constructive spirit of full disclosure, to clearly communicate its financial story and motivate potential users and user groups to read the report. And whereas the Certificate of Achievement is the highest form of recognition in the area of governmental accounting and financial reporting, and its attainment represents a significant accomplishment by government and its management. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Hidalgo County Drainage District Number 1 Board of Directors hereby recognizes Hidalgo County Drainage District Number 1 for their outstanding achievement in receiving the Certificate of Excellence in Financial Reporting for the fiscal year of December 31st, 2020. And with that, I have our CFO, Ms. Laura Briones. Thank you. First of all, let's... Thank you for this res resolution for recognizing our department. Uh, I'd like to introduce our staff. We have uh, Rose Arce, Accounts Supervisor for Accounts Payable, Millie Rodriguez, Accountant for, Jennifer Garza, Accountant for, uh, five, excuse me, Alvaro Chuk, Director of Accounting, and Mark Garcia, who is our Fixed Assets Accountant. 
Well, again, congratulations. You all have a very special uh, place in, in our hearts, and two of us over here are accountants, but the rest <laughs> appreciate what you all do. So, again, congratulations. Be an excellent. It's always a good thing. Yes. Motion thank to you. approve, Judge. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Again, thank you so much. <laughs> Judge, we can get a quick picture, please. Absolutely. Next item is 5B. Yes, sir. 5B approval of updated grant terms and conditions, text division of emergency management approval of the Dow County Division of One General, me, County District General Manager to execute pending final review. Uh, this is for past disasters. They're updating their forms and uh, uh, we recommend approval. So move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C approval of budget amendment in the amount of $2,080,969.65 from District Unreserved Fund balance to pay for the open purchase. Orders committed December 31st, 2021. So moved. Second. We have a motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Item 5D, discuss an action resolution to approve private bids submitted for struck off properties under T09807B and T095417A. Uh, is Mr. Conner here from Line There he is. Come on. Morning, Come on. Judge Commissioners. Michael Conner for the record, Line Marker. Uh, this is a private bid that was submitted on behalf of the city of Mercedes, uh, wishing to purchase two properties that were struck off, that were sold and were put up for sale and not sold. They did not receive a bid. Uh, they are offering the full amount at which it was sold for. So this will pay off uh, all the taxes and they're wishing to do some development on those two empty lots. So we do recommend approval. So move. Second. We have a motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Just for the record, Judge, this will also appear in the regular commissioner's court agenda as well. You got it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Item 6A, requesting and approve a change order number one with Science Brothers Construction, CACDD 1, 0727 to reflect a decreased amount of $333,180 for the project of Mission Lateral Phase 3, proposed widening of ditch from Benson Palm Drive to west of Wagon City 2, subdivision 2018 bond referendum project 26, and as recommended project engineer, LNG Engineering. We remove some of the items that will be covered on the next phase. If we were to construct it as design, we would have been tearing those items out. So that's why the deduction is, is happening. But it will be constructed in the next phase when we bid that out. So we recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item B, one, presenting scoring grid for the purpose of ranking by the Board of Directors of the Greater Evaluation Firm submitting response to CSP number ACDD 1, 2020 RFB, Mid Valley Airport, IBWC, Ditch 18B, Drainage Improvement 2018, Bond Referendum Project number 19. Morwheel LLC, 9367, Go Underground LLC, 8453, Gonzalez Engineering and Management LLC, 7358, and Foremost Paving, 5928. Motion to approve the rankings as presented. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item two, pursuant to the board's approval, request and authority for DOT condition number one to negotiate a construction service agreement. Number one ranked firm of Morwheel LLC for the provisions construction service of PSP number. ACDD 120, 22, excuse me, 020-413, RFB, Mid Valley Airport, IBWC Ditch, 18B Drainage Improvements, 2018, Bond Referendum Project 19. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item C1, presentation scoring grade of the purpose ranked by the Board of Rectors of the General of the graded and evaluated firm submitted response to CSP number ACDD 1-22-019-0420, RFB, Dalgo Highway 281 and FM 88, 2018, Bond Referendum Project 14. 
Underground LLC score 94, Morwell LLC 90.76, Luciana Construction LLC 7629, JMJ Contractor 7606, and Gonzalez Engineer Management 7291. Board rank is stated. Yes, sir. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item two, pursuant to the board's approval, requesting authority for Dow Condition One to negotiate construction service agreement with the number one ranked firm of Go Underground LLC for the provisions construction service for Hidalgo, excuse me, Highway 281 and FM 88 2018 bond referendum project 14. Motion, Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item D, request an approval of closing documents for parcel 13-9 as it relates to project 13 of the 2018 drainage bond program. Hidalgo Drain and authority for the chairman of the board execute documents subject to final review. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item E, request an approval to issue payments on award of three special commissioners in the amount of $2,500 each pertaining to construction, pertaining to condemnation proceedings for cost number CCD0641J, parcel number one, Arnulfo Gonzalez. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item F, approval of application payment number nine in the amount $234,552.92 from RG Enterprises LLC, DBA, G&G Contractors pertaining to construction contract CACDD1 20340811 Jackson Road Drain. Everything's in order. Recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. 7A1, approval of application payment number 11 in the amount of 45846 from Cal Center Prices Training Construction Contract. C, ACDD1, 20-0202-11, Mission Inlet uh, Project Engineer LNG. And item 2, approval of application payment number 6 in the amount of 65782 from Cal Center Prices Training Construction Contract. C, ACDD1, 21017-0601, West Coast Drain. Project Engineer, Ms. Johnson, do it for my office. Everything's in order. Recommend approval. For item 7A, 1, and 2. So move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 8A, request to approve the closing documents of parcel YE7 as it relates to the Y drain project and authority of the Chairman of the Board execute documents subject to final legal review. So Motion to approve. Second. Second. A motion to second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. We do have an, uh, an item. Okay. Real estate, yes. Pursuant to subchapter D of the Chapter 551 of Texas Government Code, we'll be retiring to closed session to discuss items listed in Code Section 551.072.074.071. May I have a motion to do so? Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. It's 945. Okay, it's 9.55. We're back from uh, closed session. Uh, do we have any action items? Yes, sir, we do. Go ahead. On the uh, on item 10A, possible action of real estate acquisition, uh, a motion is needed to authorize Mr. Sassine to proceed as discussed in the closed session. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. I believe that concludes all of our agenda items. But I have a motion to adjourn. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Right. Motion carries. We are adjourned. I call this meeting to order. The, the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court will start with a roll call to establish quorum. Good morning, David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Eddie Galdu, Precinct 2. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Eddie Torres, Precinct 4. Bruce Cortez, County Judge, that constitutes a quorum. Today we have a very own Mayor David Suarez, who is also a Chief of Staff for Precinct. One will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance today. The mayor served in the U.S. Army from 1984 to 1987, continued his service in the Texas National Guard from 1987 to 1990. He received the rank of E-4 Specialist. Mayor, would you please lead us in the pledge? Thank you, Judge. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to, to the, the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Also today, we're very honored to have the Honorable Rose Reina. She is our district judge for the 206 District Court. Judge, would you please lead us in today's prayer? Thank you, Judge. Judge, commissioners, ladies and gentlemen, if you would please bow your heads. Dear Lord, we worship you, praise you, and give you thanks and glory. We thank you for so very many things. Thank you for all the blessings 
we have living in these United States, a country that has lost many to the wars fought for the freedoms we enjoy today. The freedom of living in a democratic society, enjoying the inalienable rights guaranteed in our constitution to every man, woman and child, regardless of sex, age, race and economic status. We thank you for those who have given their lives for our country, those who have passed and those who have fought and returned home with physical and mental challenges, heal them and provide them comfort. We thank you for all of our educators to whom we entrust our children and the future of our community. We thank you for the scientists and researchers and all others who have provided treatment and remedies for COVID. We thank you for the zero deaths reported in Hidalgo County due to COVID yesterday. We ask for your comfort upon those who continue to suffer from any issues, ailments, or symptoms due to COVID. We thank you for all of our healthcare providers in our community and throughout to whom we entrust the ill and the infirm. Grant them strength and compassion to allow them to continue the best that they can to help their patients. During this month of May, as we recognize May as Mental Health Awareness Month, we pray for all of those who suffer from mental health challenges that you provide them strength and courage to seek treatment and care without judgment upon them. We thank you for our first responders, the fire department personnel, law enforcement personnel, EMS and ambulance personnel. We thank you for all of our leaders worldwide, federal, state, local, in our executive, legislative, and judicial branches, and especially our county judge and county commissioners to whom we have entrusted our county. We surrender to you the hungry, the homeless, the poor in spirit, and the victims of the senseless violence throughout the world. Grant all of them comfort, relief, and love. We thank you for all of our blessings and humbly ask all of these things in your holy name, we pray, amen. Thank you, Judge, for the beautiful prayer. Thank you, commissioners, and with uh, with your permission, may I be excused to continue the jury <coughs> trial that I'm in. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. It's, it's Thank not you often so much. That, it's not often we have a district judge ask for permission. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next item, we have the, the approval of the consent agenda. Yes, Judge. Commissioners, with your permission, I'd like to pull from consent agenda items, consent agenda item 9A1 and 2, and consent agenda item 14E2. Make a motion to approve the rest of the consent. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge, commissioners, for the record, Commissioner Fuentes will be abstaining from any discussion and or action regarding consent agenda item 9A, 1, and 2. All is in order. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Let the record show the commissioner Fuentes abstain from voting or discussion on these two items. Thank you. And Judge Commissioners, consent agenda item 14E2. I'm recommending approval subject to updating the agreement language at our next commissioner's court. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item is our open forum. How many people do we have signed up? Mr. Magnus. Yes, we have three users. First up, we have Ms. Maria Jimenez. Okay. Um, Ms. Jimenez. And so everybody in the audience, I'd like to remind the public that they're always welcome to participate in our public forum. They need to be familiar with the rules of decorum, which prohibits direct and indirect personal attacks on members of the court or any county individuals. The comments made should also pertain to county business and cannot be threatening in nature. Buenos días. Me gustaría recordar al público que siempre serán bienvenidos a participar en el foro abierto. Para hacerlo, necesitan estar familiarizados con las reglas, las cuales prohíben los ataques directos o indirectos a los miembros de la corte o a cualquier otro individuo del condado. Los comentarios que se hagan también deberán ser relacionados con los negocios o asuntos del condado y libres de amenazas. Gracias. 
Jimenez? I just translated that in English, ma'am. Or, or stated it in English. Uh, Ms. Jimenez, uh, hay un, hay un límite de tres minutos. Yo le voy a avisar cuando le sobra un minuto. Y adelante, por favor. Buenos días. Mi nombre es María Jiménez. Vengo en representación de la colonia Erlin Stay, uh, precinto 1. Estoy aquí en nombre de mi colonia para agradecer la pavimentación de la calle Nolana. Ahora ya está en muy buenas condiciones. Muchas gracias. El acceso a nuestros hogares ahora está mucho mejor. Uh, esta calle ya tenía más de 18 años con un problema muy grande. Uh, los carros constantemente se estaban desbaratando. Eh, para los camiones que iban por nuestros niños a la escuela era un gran problema porque pues también se les desbarataban constantemente y a veces nuestros hijos llegaban tarde a la escuela. Uh, pero ahora estamos bastante felices y muchas gracias, se les agradece por, por habernos atendido y, y solamente nos hace falta los señalamientos. Ahora, pues, muchas gracias, antemano, por todo lo que han hecho por nosotros y gracias en nombre de, de nuestra colonia y esperemos este, pues que sigamos adelante y le agradecemos. Thank you. Gracias. Good morning, my name is Maria Jimenez. I am here representing the Colonia Erling Estates from Precinct 1. I am here representing my Colonia to thank you for paving the street of Nolana. Now it is in very good conditions on the access to our homes. This street was in very bad conditions for 18 years. Cars would constantly break down and it was a big problem for the buses that would go pick up our, our kids from school since they would sometimes get, get there late. But we are very happy now. Thank you very much. Now the only thing missing would be signs so that it could be in much better conditions. Thank you very much for all you do. Mr. Magnus. Next up we have Ms. Maria Trevino. Ms. Trevino, hay un límite de tres minutos. Yo le voy a avisar cuando le sobra un minuto. Adelante, por favor. Buenos días. Mi nombre es Maria Trevino. Ahora vengo en, este, en representación de, de mis compañeros, vengo de la colonia La Erlenestate, ¿verdad? Este, en, en representación de mis compañeros, ¿verdad? Este, pues también como dice nuestra compañera, dándole las gracias por lo que han estado haciendo ahí en nuestra colonia, este, ¿verdad? Y, y pues esperemos este seguir con las con las demás indicaciones que siguen me da y dándole las gracias al señor precinto me da uno y haciéndole la invitación me da de que vienen unas juntas ya estará recibiendo algunas me da fechas para ver a cuál podría escoger y esperamos esperemos verdad que nos acompañe queremos nuestros compañeros verdad los compañeros y yo este, nos gustaría que estuviera ahí presente, ¿verdad?, para conocerlo y para poder este, decir, ¿verdad?, La, nuestras inquietudes y nuestras, ¿verdad?, necesidades que, que hay ahí, ¿verdad?, y muchísimas gracias por la, por la calle, ¿verdad?, que sea, que sea arreglado y, y bien agradecidos, ¿verdad?, gracias al Señor primero y gracias a, a ustedes, ¿verdad?, que han podido estar ahí, este, supliendo nuestras necesidades y este y ya estarán recibiendo verdad ya estarás recibiendo el, una invitación unas Gracias. fechas verdad para que ver si puede acompañarnos ahí verdad y nos gustaría que nos acompañara muchísimas gracias Thank you. Gracias. Good morning, my name is Maria Treviño. I, am, I, am, I come from the Colonia Erling Estates representing my fellow members to thank you for all the work you've done in our Colonia and also to invite, to invite you to our future meetings that will be going on in our Colonia and that we would like for our commissioner to go so that all of our members in our Colonia can share our needs with him and soon <coughs> you will be getting the dates uh, the, confirm dates for these meetings and thank you thank you once again for every for everything you, you do. Thank you. Mr. Magnus. 
And the last speaker we have is Ms. Fern McClurdy. <coughs> Ms. Fern, there is a three minute time limit. I will advise when there is one minute and I will start when you start. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you the same thing. Stop spending. I am also going to suggest a solution to our opposition to your constant spending. If you want to create a new tax <coughs> to collect solid waste, provide countywide ambulance service, or create a program to support local businesses, place it on a ballot. Our opposition to these projects is based on your tactics of hiding the tax uh, impact of new projects. Going to Austin to create a new, uh, new tax or taking over businesses by using interlocal agreements <coughs> does not make us feel that these activities are in the public interest. As you may recall, we submitted a request for public information concerning the new courthouse drain line. From our perspective, this project will significantly impact every business from the courthouse to the Vera King Amart O'Meats on University Drive. The Hidalgo County District Attorney <coughs> submitted our request to the Texas Attorney General concerning whether the information requested is subject to disclosure. Basically, could the Hidalgo County Commissioners, could it not uh, wish to discuss the potential impact of the drain line on the businesses until maybe after the election in November? But the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court is building a courthouse without public impact in a community that has 40% of its people living in poverty. This county does not have a good record of caring for its people. And now it is planning to initiate a project that will under, uh, con under construction for at least two or more years. The answer we are getting is the details of the project cannot be disclosed. Commissioners, without good planning and support of the business community, the project could be a disaster and hundreds of people could lose their jobs. If your proposed project is so great, allow the people to participate in the discussion and more importantly, vote on its implementation. Uh, I'd also like to ask, are, are some of our, uh, how many of our departments have a four day work day? Is the county going to a four day work day? Or, and also the, we would like to know, are they being paid for that fifth day? If they're being paid for that fifth day that they're not here, then they need to be put in another position here at the county on that fifth day. Today, you're creating auto allowance, creating jobs, and step and grade of $1,139,750.11. It's so easy to spend someone else's money. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Magnus. There are no more speakers. Okay, next item is item 6A. We're here to approve a proclamation declaring May 15th to 21st a National Police Week. And I think we all feel very safe seeing all those badges and uniforms out there. Good morning, Judge Commissioners, Misty Palacios of the Public Affairs Division. Proclamation declaring May 15 through 21 National Police Week of 2022. Whereas there are more than 800,000 law enforcement officers serving in communities across the United States, including the dedicated police officers within Hidalgo County. And whereas the purpose of celebrating National Police Week is to honor the role of law enforcement and service to society by recognizing the sacrifices and valor of law enforcement for present and past, educating the community, and making it safer for those who serve. And whereas 619 new names of fallen heroes are being added to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C. this spring, including 472 officers killed in 2021 and 147 officers killed in previous years. And whereas National Police Week includes a variety of events and memorials honoring first responders, including the annual candlelight vigil at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial 
in Judiciary Square in Northwest DC and National Peace Officers Memorial Services at the US Capitol. Now therefore be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby declares the week of May 15 through 21, 2022 as National Police Week and encourages the public to join in a collaborative effort of paying tribute to all who have dedicated themselves to America's law enforcement community. Approved this 17th day of May, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. To accept this proclamation, we have Chief Oscar Montoya with the Sheriff's Office. Judge Commissioners, I'm here on behalf of Sheriff J.E. Eriguera. Um, he is at the FAR Memorial uh, Service today. Um, it was very important that he be there. Th this is very important to us, not only for the Sheriff's Office, but for all law enforcement for us to accept this. But uh, like I said, FAR PD lost one of their own, and uh, it, he felt it important to be there to, uh, to help honor uh, that fallen officer. As you know, all this week we'll be celebrating uh, fallen officers. Unfortunately, it has touched uh, the Rio Grande Valley more than once. And uh, we want to thank you for this opportunity. On behalf of all of law enforcement, we appreciate you all taking the time to bestow this honor on us. And uh, we invite you to ours and to any of the, uh, the uh, memorials this week. Ours is Thursday um, at uh, 9 a.m. And uh, you guys, everybody, uh, commissioners, everybody's welcome to, to go to, to it. And uh, we'd, we'd uh, love to have you all there. Uh, we want to thank uh, Commissioner Torres and uh, and Commissioner, I mean, I'm sure Commissioner Cantu for the awesome parking lot that you guys did for us. It looks really nice. We have a brand new memorial there as well, uh, honoring our fallen officers. So again, we, we want to thank you on behalf of all law enforcement, but on behalf of Sheriff Guerra. Thank you for this opportunity. Okay, well, thank you very much. <coughs> Next, we have the approval of proclamation declaring May as the National Wildfire Awareness Month. Wildlife? Wildlife? Is it wildfire correct? There's a, there's a oh, it is sorry. wildfire, yes, sir. That's a correction. <laughs> I read what you read. Sure, I'm
Proclamation declaring May National Wildfire Awareness Month. Whereas National Wildfire Awareness Month dedicates the entire month of May to prevention and preparedness for wildfire safety. The causes of wildfires can occur in every state, and as mobile as our lifestyles have become, we each need to be prepared. And whereas recent weather trends for Hidalgo County have wound up in wet summers and dry winters, perfect conditions for fire. The Hidalgo County Fire Marshal's Office offers tips for outdoor burning and is in charge of issuing burn permits. And whereas residential brush burning will be permitted, but only with a burn permit issued by the County Fire Marshal's Office. The restrictions does not ban outdoor cooking that takes place within a cooking apparatus, grill, pit, etc. Outdoor burning of any kind is prohibited on any day when fire watch or red flag warning weather advisory is issued by the National Weather Service. This burn ban can be revoked at any time should conditions improve. And whereas according to the National Interagency Fire Center, humans cause an average of 68% of fires per year in the United States. Of those human started fires, 2.8 million acres burn each year. According to the United States Congressional Research Service in 2021, an estimated 59,000 wildfires burned 7. Point million acres in the U.S. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby declares the month of May as National Wildfire Awareness Month and encourages the public to stay connected with the Hidalgo County Fire Marshal's Office for information about fire safety, prevention, and or education. Approved this 17th day of May, 2022. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. <laughs> to accept this proclamation this morning, we have Omero Garza with the Fire Marshal's Office. Thank you. Good morning, Judge, Commissioners. Uh, thank you for this very important proclamation uh, resolution. Our team, my staff, uh, there at the end, uh, Chief Saldana and the Hidalgo County Office of Emergency Management. And we've got uh, representation from the South Texas Fire Chiefs Association. Uh, these are fire chiefs from across Hidalgo County. Uh, not all of them could be here today. Uh, but this message of uh, wild uh, land prevention uh, is something that we all take to heart. Uh, here recently we've had some uh, large scale fires, as you know, we enacted a burn ban. And so these are the, this is the team that makes things happen when these, these uh, wildfires occur. Uh, as the proclamation reads, the public plays a valuable role in preventing wildfires. The national average of human caused wildfires comprises of 67% of all wildfire occurrences every year. Most of these fires can be prevented. Preventable wildfires threaten lives, property, and precious natural resources. Whether it is properly extinguishing a campfire or keeping your vehicle maintained to prevent sparks, following just a few simple steps can help prevent wildfires. Learn how to properly use outdoor equipment, burn debris safely, Start, maintain, and extinguish a campfire. Maintain a vehicle and tow safely and practice fire safe target shooting, to name a few. Next, it's my distinct honor to introduce the mightiest bear around. is uh, Smokey Bear is an American campaign and advertising icon of the U.S. Forest Service in the Wildfire Prevention Campaign, which is the longest running public service announcement campaign in the United States history. Smokey Bear campaign began in 1944 featuring Smokey and the sl slogan, Smokey says, care will prevent nine out of ten forest fires. 
His slogan changed to remember only you can prevent forest fires in 1947 and was associated with Smokey Bear for more than five decades. <clears throat> in April of 2001, the message was officially updated to only you can prevent wildfires to educate the public about the dangers of unplanned human-caused wildfires. And I have my personal license plate, and I'd like Smokey to hold it up to take a picture. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce Mike Donovan. He's the assistant uh, RFC of the South Branch uh, of Texas and Enforce Service to say a few words uh, about the cooperation between his agency and the local fire departments in combating these wildfires. Mike. Thank you. My name is Mike Donovan. I am a newly uh, appointed assistant chief of the South Branch. I've been in this role for three weeks now, um, enjoying every minute of it. But just wanted to briefly talk about our history a little bit. Um, we're kind of relatively new to this part of the state, you know, as compared to our history. We started, we got to start in 1915. Uh, in 1998, we put in our, or hired our first regional fire coordinator uh, for this area that worked out of Kingsville. Um, and that was Marty Martinez. I don't know if everybody remembers Marty or not, but um, he did a lot of really good work here and um, was very instrumental in getting uh, things cooperation going here in Hidalgo County and other counties in South Texas. Um, so really we just want to say we appreciate all the help uh, from Hidalgo County over the years, especially this year. Um, you know, really had a, we've had a pretty significant year so far and to be honest with you, it's not over. Um, we need some more rain and if we don't get it, we're looking at a pretty busy summer. So um, with that said, I wanted to tag on to the, the fire prevention message and talk about just how important it is. Um, earlier this year, back in March, I was a part of the response for the Eastland uh, complex uh, east of Abilene, Texas, where we had uh, fire actually burn through an entire town and nearly everybody lost their home in that town. And um, it was started from kids campfire had a campfire and it got out so that fire prevention message is very important um, so just wanted to say that and say thank you and and um, I have a as a token of our appreciation I'd like to give the judge um, this plaque signifying your efforts in fire prevention and Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. I, I'm, on behalf of the commissioners, Carl, I, I'll accept it. Thank you, Chief uh, Donovan. Appreciate your uh, comments and uh, your cooperation throughout these uh, recent days. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce Mission Assistant Fire Chief Renee Alvarez, Vice President of the South Texas Fire Chiefs Association, to say a few words. Yes, sir. Thank you, Marshal. Uh, Judge, good morning, and also thank you, Commissioners. Thank you for having us here. Thank you for the recognition. We appreciate that. As uh, the Marshal did say, our team is here. A lot of the fire chiefs are part of the association from cities throughout the county. Uh, we have a very unique response, mutual aid response model that we have here. It's, always surprising when you go upstate and people ask how we respond here but we work great as a team we have a task force that we built through our association where resources are dispatched as needed also the support that we've gotten from the state uh, we have had an active wildfire season and there's more to come as as chief Donovan stated but thank you for your support too the county has always been there to support us whenever we have any type of calls like that thank you again for the recognition So to conclude, uh, again, thanks for uh, your proclamation. We all appreciate it. Uh, the living symbol of Smokey the Bear was a five-pound, three-month-old American black bear cub who was found in the spring of 1950 after the Capitan Gap fire, a wildfire that burned the Capitan Mountains of New Mexico. Smokey had climbed a tree to escape the blaze, but his paws and hind legs had been burned. 
local crews who had come from New Mexico and Texas to fight the fire removed the cub from the tree. And that's how Smokey the Bear came along. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you know, wildfires are, are a tremendous threat. Uh, you know, New Mexico is still fighting their wildfire. It's been going on for, what, about a month already? I think only 29% has been controlled, so that, that is a real tough. What you do is extremely important. We thank you for your service. Thank you, Judge. Can I get your picture? Okay, next. We have a presentation of a proclamation of gratitude to emergency management coordinators. leading this group here. <laughs> <coughs> okay, you know, we're just a few weeks away from June the 1st, which starts uh, the hurricane season. And once again, experts are predicting an above average hurricane season with at least 19 named storms. Any of these could have a direct impact on Hidalgo County, as we know. That is why the Commissioner's Court would like to publicly acknowledge and thank our own weather and emergency management experts ahead of this year's hurricane season. In that spirit, the Commissioner's Court has proclaimed June 1st as Meteorologist and Emergency Management Coordination, Coordinators Day, the services you provide to warn the, uh, the public about coming storms and prepare our community for nature's fury is invaluable. We want to thank you publicly, and we want to remind the residents of Adawa County to be prepared this hurricane season. So with that, we would like to give you a copy of the proclamation declaring June 1st 
Meteorologist and Emergency Management Day. And we thank you for that service. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Thank you very much. As you can see, the group that I have here, my staff, the state staff, and the majority of the Hidalgo County Fire Marshal's Office. This is a diverse group. A lot of them wear many hats. We have deputy city managers. We have EMS personnel. We have firefighters. We have public works directors. They all wear multiple hats. But when the time comes, they wear that emergency management hat with pride. I want to thank each and every one of them for being here. Just like they mentioned earlier in the fireside, working and collaborating together makes a difference. These guys and ladies that are here today make a difference for emergency management in Hidalgo County. The collaboration and communications we have between our state partners, our local partners, and Hidalgo County is tremendous. And it constantly, the communication is there, along with the precincts, whoever their designated uh, employee is to us. That is very, very important. Again, Judge Commissioners, thank you very much for that proclamation. Oh, thank you for all the service. Oh, one more point before I leave. Our meteorologist partners, they play a crucial part in keeping us up to par and up to date and quick advancement of any potential storms that may impact our area. That They are very crucial on the onset of an event. Thank you. Thank you.
commissioner. You move a little bit that way. Vale. Vale, do we uh, move our proclamation for CSA or just wait till we get to CSA? No, no actually, Judge, if we could, that way we can get that proclamation out uh, with now? CSA. Now? Yes. Okay, we're going to move item 17A. We have a proclamation for Community Service Agency. Who, who's going to, is Jaime? Mr. Longoria, Jaime. Mr. Longoria. Yes, I'm here, give, give me just a second, I apologize. There you go. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Um, thank you so much for taking the, taking the item out of order. Um, item item 17A is approval of the proclamation designating May of 2022 as Community Action Month. Judge Commissioners, I am uh, I am going to be on the road here in the next few minutes, uh, heading to San Antonio to a, a state conference of, of all of our agencies, and therefore I couldn't be with you today. So I promise that uh, the, the formal proclamation of of uh, that you all will will approve today will be presented at our annual board meeting that'll be held uh, on the 25th of this month. So in lieu of that, I'd like to go ahead and read the proclamation and have you all approve that with your permission. May I proceed, Judge? Please. Okay, it's 2022 Community Action Month proclamation. Whereas Community Action has made essential contributions to individuals and families across this nation by creating economic opportunities and strengthening communities. And whereas Community Action is a robust state and local force connecting people to life-changing services and creating pathways to prosperity in 99% of all American counties. And whereas Community Action promotes community-wide solutions to challenge challenges throughout our cities, suburbs, and rural areas. And whereas Community Action provides essential services to communities stricken by natural disasters such as hurricanes, fires, and other uh, severe weather events. And whereas Community Action delivers innovative services and supports that create greater opportunities for families and children to succeed. And whereas Community Action provides services to over 19,000 vulnerable households in Hidalgo County. And whereas Community Action is celebrating 58 years of innovation, impact, and providing uh, proven results for Americans. Now, therefore, the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court does hereby proclaim the month of May 2022 as Community Action Month in recognition of the hard work and dedication of all community action agencies in the state of Texas and the Hidalgo County Community Service Agency. Approved the 17th day of May, May of 2022. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you and thank Judge, you I just, and Commissioners, I wanted to call, call to, uh, 
call to your attention a couple of the statements in the proclamation. You know, where it talks about natural disasters such as hurricanes, fires, and severe weather events. Uh, community, our community service agency responded to the winter storm uh, with the help of the precincts, with the cooperation of, of the fine folks that you just saw before you, uh, the emergency management coordinators, uh, all of the team of people came together and, and gave us direction as where the, where the families that were hit the hardest uh, and needed the most services were. Uh, we came together also for the 2019 storm, the, the flooding event that happened in Monte Alto and La Via. And I call, that, uh, I call that to your attention because we're currently providing roofs and, and rebuilding people's homes even three years after that event. The other thing, uh, the other statement that I wanted to call to, to your attention is the innovative services and, and the supports that create greater opportunities for families. I wanted to remind families that, that there is tuition assistance, there is job training assistance available for those families in Hidalgo County who want to better them, their, their situation. We also, during the pandemic, provided technology to uh, many of the Head Start families who were left without, uh, without computers and without uh, schooling because they, they had that, uh, they were experiencing a technology gap. So I, I wanted to, to really thank the employees of the Community Service Agency uh, for all the work that they do. Uh, they continue to provide services. I was running some numbers, judge and commissioners, because I wanted to give you a, a just really an up-to-date uh, number of the number of families just in rental assistance that we've that we've assisted uh, over the last three years since the inception of the pandemic, two and a half years. We've assisted with rental payments alone. Over 12,000 payments have been made in Hidalgo County for families that are struggling to pay their rent. And that's that's strictly rent. That's not to mention mortgage. That's not to mention any of the utility assistance that we provide, but uh, that's a number that we're very proud of here in, in, uh, in, in, in the community service agency because that means people got to stay in their homes. So we're very grateful to you all for that proclamation and we'll continue to celebrate during uh, the month of May. It is Community Action Month. Our staff has been celebrating with, uh, with cake and cookies for, for clients as they walk in the door. We've had events where we honor the staff members who have uh, served uh, the county of Hidalgo over 30 years. We have two of those staff members still working today and uh, we're honoring all of the work that they do on a daily basis. So we invite you and the public to come out and join us on the 25th of May for our annual board meeting. We'll be installing four new board members and we ask for your, uh, your support on that particular day. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioner. Okay. Hi, Miss, since you're leaving, do you wanna take the other two items in your department? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Go With ahead, your permission, I'll move seven, forward. Seven, 17B. Uh, oh, this, uh, item 17B is discussion, consideration, and possible action to approve amendment number three to the Comprehensive Energy Assistance Program contract number 5821-000-3387 to include an extension date until June 30th of 2022. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> Uh, item 17C, discussion, consideration, and possible action to approve amendment number four to the Community Services Block Grant Program contract number 6121-000345 to include extension date of June 30th, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I mean, thank you very much. Have a safe trip. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioners. We're back to item 7A, District Attorney's Office. Good morning, Judge Cortez uh, and Commissioner Rosalinda Cantu presenting for the District Attorney's Office. Item 7A, we're asking for approval to submit review cap grant number 359403 budget adjustment to the Office of the Governor. Motion so, to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 8A, Haida Task Force. Uh, fund 1291, we're asking for approval of number one, two, and three. Approval to accept the cooperative agreement award uh, number uh, G22SS00028 between Hidalgo County and the Executive Office of the President Office of National Drug Control Policy in the amount of $775,705 for the grant period of January 1st, 2022 through December 31st, 2023 
We're also asking for approval for County Judge uh, Richard Cortez to sign grant agreement and the grant conditions as authorized official, and also asking for approval of certification of revenues as certified by the County Auditor for the fiscal year 2022 had a task force grant in the amount of $775,705 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Item 9A, Sheriff's Office. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Captain David Friedland presenting for Hedow County Sheriff J.E. Eddie Guerra. Agenda item 9A. Discussion, consideration, and approval to appoint Daisy Garcia, graduate from Texas State University as an intern under the Dow County Sheriff's Office Law Enforcement Internship Program for the period of June 2022 through August 2022. So moved. Check it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <clears throat> Item 9B, uh, discussion, consideration, and approval to appoint Roberto Montoya, student at the University of Texas at San Antonio, as intern under the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office Law Enforcement Internship Program for the period of May 30th, 2022 through August 11th, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, agenda item 9C in two parts. Part one, approval and authorization for the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office to continue participation in the Texas LASO program. Part two, Authorization for the county judge and county sheriff as authorized officials to sign the required documents. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, 9D, approval of memorandum of understanding between various law enforcement agencies and the Hedow County Sheriff's Office with the purpose of reporting training through TCOL and authorization for Hedow County Judge and Hedow County Sheriff to sign documents. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you very much, time. Captain. Item 10A, Constable Precinct 2. Marty. Judge Commissioners, with your permission for uh, Constable Cantu. Uh, item 10A is Constable Cantu's uh, Operation Stone Garden Grant, which is Fund 1284. It's authorization and approval to accept grant award from the Office of Governor Homeland Security Grants Division in relation to the fiscal year 2021, uh, which the period is March 1st, 2022 through uh, February 28th, 2023, Operation Stone Garden Grant in the amount of $149,999.99 with authority for county judges authorized officials to accept the award electronically and authorization to pay overtime reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions and Approval of the certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 2021 Operation Stone Garden, Stone Garden Grant in the amount of $149,999.99 and appropriation of same. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve item 10A1, 2, and 3. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. <laughs> Constable Precinct 3. Larry. Ms. Gray Good morning, Commissioners, Judge. Uh, Larry got out of the Constable Precinct 3. Uh, number, uh, item number one, authorization approval to accept a grant award from the Office of the Governor Homeland Security Grant Division in relation to the FY 2021 Operation Stone Garden in the amount of $170,000 with authority for the county judge as an authorized official to accept the award electronically. Number two, authorization to pay overtime reimbursement under the grant terms and conditions and number three, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for FYI 20, 2021 Operation Stone Guard in the amount of $170,000 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank I just want to com much, congratulate Commissioner Fuentes for completing leadership, uh, Tech Leadership 254. Thank you. Yes, and sir. I appreciate your support. In Thank, that. Thank you so right. much. Good day. Next item is 12A, Constable Precinct 4. Right, Morning, Judge Commissioners. Uh, 12A, discussion, consideration, approval to appoint Juan M. Villarreal Jr. and Rolando Flores III as reserve deputy constables by myself, Constable Gaitan, in Precinct 4 in accordance with Texas Local Government Code, Section 86.012. So moved. So moved. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, 12B, uh, Constable Precinct 4 Operation Stone Garden Grant 
OPSG 1284. Uh, one, authorization approval to accept grant award from the Office of the Gov uh, Governor Homeland Security Grants Division uh, in relation to the fiscal year 2021, 3 1 2022 to 228 of 23. Operation Stone Garden Grant in the amount of 159,999 with 65 cents with the authority for county judges authorized official to accept awarded electronically. Uh, B2, authorization to pay overtime reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions. B3, approval of certification of revenues as certified by county auditor for fiscal year 2021 operation Stone Garden Grant, OPSP in the amount of 159,999 with 65 cents in the appropriation of the same. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 12C, Council Precinct 4, approval of memorandum of understanding MOU between Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, Homeland Security Investigation, HSI, and Hidalgo County Constable Precinct 4, with the authority for Constable Guaitan as authorized official to execute agreement and all related documents for the purpose of the reimbursement of overtime costs incurred for joint operation. Uh, C2, authorization to pay overtime reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions. Uh, C3, approval to accept overtime funding from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, in the amount of $15,000. And uh, C4, Approval of certifications of revenues and certified by the county auditor for ICE, HSI, overtime, funding, and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to second to approve. Item C1, 2, 3, and 4. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much, Councilman. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. We'll move on to item 22A. Precinct yes, Commissioner Cotis has a resolution to present. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Uh, Belinda Reyes with Precinct 4. I'm presenting to item 22A, McAllen ISD, and we're lining them up here. <laughs> we're good? Okay. So today, uh, presenting a resolution in honor of McAllen Independent School District for receiving the HEB Excellence in Education Award for Best Large School District. Whereas the McAllen Independent School District is a closely knit community that strongly emphasizes the value of providing a great dedication to students of all backgrounds and abilities. The district encompasses 33 square miles, has a student enrollment of approximately 20,500 students, employs approximately 3,600 personnel, offers five high schools, 18 elementary schools, six middle schools, and one disciplinary campus. And whereas since, it, since its inception in 2002, the HEB Excellence in Education Awards are designed to honor outstanding public school professionals and districts to thank them for their ded dedication and commitment to education. And whereas in January of 2022, McAllen ISD was named one out of five finalists for the best large school district of the year through the Excellence in Education Awards program. With the distinction of becoming a finalist, the district received a $5,000 grant with the opportunity to compete for even greater cash prizes at the statewide level. McAllen ISD is the only school district in the Rio Grande Valley to have become a finalist to the best large school district category. And whereas a total of $430,000 in cash prizes and grants were awarded to outstanding educators and school districts at the Retailers 20th Annual Excellence in Education Award ceremony held on April 30th, 2022 at the Fairmont Hotel in Austin, Texas. And whereas the School District of the Year accolade is an honor designated to recognize school districts and is based on the following criteria. One, commitment to student achievement through innovative programs. 
Two, parent community involvement, and three, professional development opportunities for teachers and administrators. And whereas on April 30th, 2022, after worthy competition from all district finalists, the McAllen Independent School District prevailed and was named our 2022 HEB Excellence in Education Best Large School District in the entire Long Star State. <laughs> With this accolade, the McAllen Independent School District was awarded a $100,000 grant from the grocery retailer. Now, therefore, it be resolved that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby recognizes the McAllen Independent School District for receiving the HEB Excellence in Education Award for Best Large School District in the State of Texas. Let it be re further resolved that the McAllen Independent School District be applauded for their outstanding dedication and commitment to the students, parents, and community of McAllen and the County of Hidalgo. Requesting approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> Today, uh, Dr. Jay Gonzalez, Superintendent of Schools, will say a few words. First, thank you so much. As our story was being read, I couldn't help but feel this over, overwhelming sense of pride, right? I work with a tremendous board, work with a tremendous team, and we have tremendous support from the city of McAllen and the county. Uh, the judge, a great friend of mine, all the commissioners, great friends of, of mine, but more than that, just great partners for us. So our success doesn't happen in isolation. Our success happens because we have a lot of people that have their heart in the right place, and we're doing all that we can to show the rest of the state and the rest of the nation that our kids can compete with anybody, anywhere, anytime. Yes. We have the data to prove that. We have tremendous teachers, we have hardworking staff, we have supportive parents, it's just a blessing. I've been with the district for 25 years and it's just such a blessing for me and my family to be a part of a bigger family and even more than that, to have a county that supports us the way that you all do. So on behalf of our district, on behalf of our board, the entire McAllen ISD family, thank you all so much to the County of Hidalgo. Appreciate you all. Well, <laughs> Also, also, you have a little tidbit to share with us, I think. You have, you're a little diversified. How many different uh, groups of uh, kids, uh, ethnic gr oh, groups? Oh, yes, sir. Or? Yes, sir. We, we are proud to, to say that we do have over 45 different nationalities represented in McAllen ISD <laughs> oh, with wow. over 30 languages spoken. So we are a diverse community. We're an A-rated school district, and it's, it's because of the teachers and the students and the support we have. But uh, we take great pride in diversity. But we take great pride in performance, and, and we have the data to prove that we're one of the highest performing school districts in the state, and we will continue to be. 45 nationalities, wow, that is, that is amazing. Congratulations again.
Okay, uh, we'll go back to our normal schedule, which is item 13A, Human Resources. Ms. Reina. Good morning, Judging Commissioners. Katia Garcia for the Department of Human Resources. Item 13A, we are requesting waiver of the following, if applicable, for personnel items listed. We need action on item number three, budget amendment policy, personnel related amendments. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 13B for the health department. This is for the health disparities and COVID immunization round four grants. Approval of the following personal actions effective next school pay period, May 23rd, 2022. This is to create SOT 1001, public health technician two at a grade 11, and to delete SOTs 0005 through 0010, COVID-19 medical assistant grade five, and to create SOT 0014 through 0018, COVID-19 licensed vocational nurse two at a grade 11. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 13C, hurricane preparedness. Approval to create 20 full-time temporary positions for 26 weeks, beginning June 1st, 2022 and ending November 30th, 2022 as follows. This is the annual item that comes before the court and we are requesting to create slots T001 through T004 truck driver one at a grade four, and also to create slots T005 through T020 maintenance one at a grade three. The positions will be filled as needed. Yes, Judge, if you don't mind, I'd just like to elaborate this on this. This has been going on since 2018, since we first had those big storms. Uh, we find that it's important to create these positions and fill them as needed. Uh, to help us prepare and respond during emergency situations. So I want to thank everybody on the county for you know, allowing for all of us to have access to these positions so that we can respond to our communities and, and uh, assist when necessary. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 13D for the WIC department. This is for the summer food program grant. Approval to create eight temporary part-time positions for eight weeks, beginning June 1st, 2022, and ending July 27th, 2022. This is to create slot T001 through T008, Referral Resource Specialist 1. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 13E, Precinct 2 Administration. From Road and Bridge Fund, approval of the following personal actions effective upon commissioner's court approval. Precinct 2 is requesting to create slot 0028, Assistant Chief of Staff 2 at a grade 19, and to add auto allowance in the amount of $5,000, and to add supplemental allowance in the amount of $9,000. We're also requesting to add auto allowance to slot 0018, Director of Administration, in the amount of $5,000, and also to add supplemental allowance to the Director of Administration in the amount of $9,000. As per Precinct 2, this is due to additional duties. Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Oh. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 13F, Precinct 3 Road Maintenance. From the Road and Bridge Fund, approval of the following personal actions effective upon commissioner's court approval. Precinct 3 is requesting to add auto allowance to SOT 0121, Director of Internal Operations 2, of Internal Operations 2, I'm sorry, in the amount of $5,000. So, second. 
All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 13G for the tax office, special vehicle inventory. Approval of the following personal action effective next school pay period, May 23rd, 2022. This is to add supplemental allowance to thought A007, accountant three in the amount of $3,000. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 13H for the district attorney's office, approval to award a discretionary step for the employees listed below after approval of HR criteria certification with section 8.03 of the classification and compensation plan effective upon commissioner's court approval. This is for a discretionary step five to start 0038 and 0029 assistant district attorney four and a discretionary step eight to 0014 0011 assistant district attorney four also a discretionary step eight to start 0013 and 0010 assistant district attorney four also a discretionary step eight to start 0015 and 0012 assistant district attorney four and a discretionary step three to start 0158 assistant district attorney three motion to approve second all in favor say aye aye, aye. motion carries Item 13I, Executive Office, approval to create a temporary full-time position for 33 weeks, beginning May 17, 2022, and ending December 31st, 2022. This is to create slot T028, Public Information Specialist 1 at a grade 10, and also approval to revise the classified positions list to add the new position, Public Information Specialist 1, grade 10. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next item is item 14A, Urban County. Mr. Avila. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Uh, for item 14A, discussion, consideration, and action authorizing the completion and submittal of two applications for the 2018 South Texas Floods uh, competition to the Texas General Land Office. Number two for 14A2, approval for the Hidalgo County Judge Richard Cortez to sign the Federal Assistance Standard Form 424, along with all related documentation that may be needed in preparation for the submittal of the applications to the Texas General Land Office 2018 South Texas Floods Competition. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And for item uh, 14A3 and 4, discussion and consideration and action uh, authorizing the completion and submittal of two applications for the 2019 disaster competition to the Texas General Land Office for approval of the Hidalgo County Judge Richard Cortez to sign the Federal Assistance Standard Form 424 along with all related documentation that may be needed in preparation for submittal and application to the Texas General Land Office 2019 disasters uh, competition. Motion to approve. Second. Second. We have a motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And for 14-5, I mean 14-A-5, approval to advertise a notice of public comments in the local newspapers for the submittal of applications to the Texas General Land Office 2018 South Texas Floods Competition and 2019 Disasters Competition. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. For item 14B, subject to compliance with the House Bill 295, the Irving County program is requesting approval of a best and final negotiated contract for professional engineering services with Cruz Hogan Consultants, Inc. in the amount of $22,250 utilizing CDBG fiscal year 2021 City of Alamo Water and Sewer Improvements funding and approval of work authorization number one. So move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Thank you, you Commissioner. Much. Next item is Judge. Uh, my apologies, Judge Commissioners. I'm going to ask if we can uh, please take uh, or go into executive session at this time. There's a couple of items that, that uh, we need to discuss. Okay. Pursuant to Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, under sections, we're going to be retired to closed session to discuss items listed in Code Section 551.071, 
any action items to be taken will be taken when we return. It is now 11-16. May I have a motion to retire? Motion to me. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, it's 12.45. We're back from closed session. We do have some action items to take. Judge, yes, uh, if we could uh, go back to our, to our, uh, where we left off, which uh, would Health be Department. Uh, Health and Human Services. Okay. Item 15A. Mr. Good morning, Olivares. Judge Commissioners. This is Eddie Olivares, the Dallas County Health and Human Services. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have item 15A, sir. <clears throat> is pursuant to Chapter 121 Local Public Health Reorganization Act. Section 121.006, recognize an approval of schedule of fees for Hidalgo County Health and Human Services Department based on the 2022 federal poverty level and the full pay fee schedule to be effect in effect May 23rd, 2022, sir. This is just in, taking into account the new poverty levels that have been set by the federal government, which has been an increase of 5%. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 15B, sir, is uh, recognizing, requesting approval to accept the county judge e-signature for healthy, for health disparities grant num number HHS 00105760025. Amendment number one, the purpose of the amendment is to add $75,000 for the period of June 1st, 2022 through May 31st, 2023. And item two is requesting approval of certification of revenues in the amount of $75,000 and to appropriate the same. Motion to approve 15B1 and two. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C is requesting approval to appropriate the health administrative program income budget in the amount of $265,000 for the period of 517 2022 through 1231 2022. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D is requested approval for county judge to sign the written acknowledgement of completion of cybersecurity training program as required by the Texas Health and Human Services Commission. All 300 of our staff have taken the cybersecurity requirements, sir. Can we met that criteria? We're requesting your signature. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item E is requested approval to accept the county judge e signature, uh, the public health emergency preparedness grant 537180176000001. Amendment number nine. The purpose of this of the amendment is to revise the budget table to reflect the reallocation of funds between uh, funds between budget categories. Uh, this was a line item change we made within our budget for that preparedness grant, sir. So moved. Second. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. You just item F is requested approval to accept the county judge to e-sign the immunization local locals grant Contract number HHS 00011970000022, amount, amendment number four, and all related contract documents and requesting approval to accept the certified revenue as certified by the county auditor in the amount of $649,320 from grant funds and $89,000 from program income funds appropriated the same via our budget processor. Motion to approve 15 F1 and 2. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you Thank very you much, judge. sir. Good afternoon, Judge Commissioners. Ricardo Saldana, Emergency Management Coordinator. Um, I'm here for approval and appointment of the Hidalgo County Local Emergency Planning Committee Board 
and authorize the, the, for the county judge to sign the local emergency planning committee membership update form for the state emergency response commission. As you can see the four names there, uh, Roberto Alvarez, who's the assistant fire chief in mission, Mr. Galvin Green, he uh, works for Wilbert, the chemical company for agriculture. Dr. Luidina Avila, she's a member of the South Texas uh, College. And Bruce Wilson, who is a member of the American Red Cross. Motion. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second. We have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. Thank, Thank you, you, Judge. 18A, Elections Administration. Good afternoon, Judge. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Yvonne Ramon with items A1-85824, starting with discussion on election updates. I would like to reserve uh, updating the, the court with one item at the end of all my items, if I, if I can please have that permission, because uh, there is quite a bit and I don't want to be confusing. Go so ahead. I'll start off with, we started early voting for both the Democrat and Republican primary runoffs. So one thing that it's very important for our community to know is that the runoff early voting is only for five days. It started yesterday, Monday the 16th, and it runs through this coming Friday, May 20th. We've got 28 polls open and they are all open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Election day will be a week from today. It will be Tuesday, May 24th, and the polling locations will also be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Tuesday, the 24th. And one important note is that the 28 early voting locations will be almost exactly on election day, except for one. In Palm View, La, La Mansion will be replaced by Palm View Recreation Center. Other than that, the rest of the 27 locations will be exactly the same. So there shouldn't be any issue with where I go vote. But also one good thing is that both Democrats and Republicans will be at the same polling locations. So if you voted during the primary on March 1st, you will only be able to vote in that same party election. You can't switch off. Now, if you did not participate in the March 1st primary, be prepared to tell the poll worker in which election you will vote, because then you have to designate what party you will vote in for the runoff. Now, what's on my ballot? Visit our website at www.hidalgocounty.us forward slash elections. Click on the May 24th primary runoff banner, scroll down and look at your sample ballot. We've got a sample ballot lookup tool, very, very easy, very user friendly. And look at what's on your ballot because we've got both parties that have state races such as attorney general, the commissioner of the general land office and other races. But the Democrat ballot also has state senator district 27, US representative district 15, and both parties have precinct chair places. So be knowledgeable, be prepared, and look at your sample ballot before you head out to the polls. Item number two is discussion, consideration, and authority for the county judge to order the June 14th, 2022 special election for Congressional District 34. Now, as we all know, Honorable Philemon B. Vela resigned and created a vacancy in the U.S. House of Representatives for the 34th Congressional District of Texas. And so I am asking for approval to order this election. Ms. Ramon. Yes. I have a question on item number one, discussion on election updates. Uh, who yes. made the change, authorized the change from La Mansion to Palmview Recreational Center, I believe? Since it is uh, uh, a primary runoff, it would have been the party chairs. We did the early vote, and then the party chairs still have responsibility for election day, sir. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that that it wasn't uh, Hidalgo County or Precinct 3 making that change. No, sir, it was not. Thank you. Yes, sir. May I have a motion to approve calling the order for so the June 14th second. special election? We had a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item three is discussion, consideration, and approval of the June 14th, 2022 special election for Congressional District 34. These are the early voting polling locations. So moved. Second. 
All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item four, discussion, consideration, and approval of the June 14th, 2022 special election for Congressional District 34. This is for the election day polling locations in accordance with Texas Election Code 42.008. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Item five is the official canvassing of election results for the May 7th, 2022 special constitutional amendment election as per Texas election code section 67.003. So with a 5.53% voter turnout, we had state of Texas proposition one, four passes with 83.58% against does not pass with of course 16.42 percent so four wins state of texas proposition two four passes with 71.55 percent with against not passing losing with a 28.45 percent i need approval motion to approve second all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. motion carries Thank you. The last item is the approval of the 2022 May 7th local entities election service contract between Hidalgo County and the city of Progreso Lakes. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. And the last uh, permission that I had for election updates is this. Because the governor's proclamation ordered this emergency uh, a uh, special election to fill the unexpired term for Congressional District 34, please know that now who gets to vote, it's very important that our community understand, okay? If for the last 10 years, you have been registered in District 34, you can vote in this special emergency election because you may have received a card, a new voter registration card, and it shows that you are no longer in District 34. But if you were in the last 10 years in District 34, you can vote. Now, if your new card shows that you are now in District 34, but prior to the 2022 redistricting, you were not in District 34, you will not be able to participate in this special election. So literally, judge and commissioners, we had to go and recreate District 34 prior to the 2022 redistricting. So those 58,738 people that were registered in 34 prior to this new update of redistricting are the only ones that will get to vote. So it is very important for the people that are registered now in 2022 redistricting, it's very important that they know that when the general election comes in November of 2022, they will be the ones electing the new representative for Congressional District 34 that will start the new term. But in order to fill this unexpired term from now until the end of the year, only the people that were registered in 34 will be the only ones that will get to vote. Now, this may be a little bit confusing to the point that if somebody is listening and has a question, we ask that you call us at 318-2570 because in our recreation of that district that had already been done away with, we now named it Old District 34 and we will be able to tell any person that calls if they are registered to vote in this special emergency unexpired term or not. So I wanted to try to make that as clear as possible because it did take us a while to grasp it and, and have to work with the state in order to meet this proclamation that our governor did put out. Now, we will have the explanation on our website. I do plan to send a press release after the primary election day, which is a week from today. So after May 24th, we will be sending out a press release and we will have an explanation on our website so that we make sure that those people that can vote do vote because there are four candidates on this ballot. We've got two Democrats and two Republicans. And should there be a runoff, that would take place in August of 2022. So it's important that these 58,738 
uh, Hidalgo County voters take that opportunity and select the person who will be representing this county for the remainder of District 34. Uh, are there any questions for me at this time? <clears throat> then thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Ramon. Yes. Item 19A. Thank, Commissioner Fuentes. Thank you, Judge. Discussion, consideration, and possible action to submit grant application by Hidalgo County and Hidalgo County under infra grants, fiscal year 2022, to the U.S. Department of Transportation for the Nolana Loop Corridor Project. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioner Cantu. Item 28. Requesting approval approval to enter into a permit agreement between the County of Hidalgo and. Hidalgo County Irrigation District Number Two concerning the construction of a vehicular bridge over an irrigation canal for the Precinct Two Las Milpas Road project. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Commissioner Villarreal, Item Twenty One A. Reappoint uh, reappointment of member to the Hidalgo County Ho Housing Authority Board by Precinct uh, Three. Uh, I'm going to reappoint uh, Henry Rodriguez. Uh, second. I have a motion second for reappoint Henry Rodriguez. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I request an approval to accept counter offer to purchase a tract of land known as parcel 11 associated with a precinct 3 Liberty Road phase 2 project from mile 3 to FM 2221 ROWCSJ-0921-02-364 uh, with authority for the county judge to sign the administrative evaluation and approval form. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Commissioner Torres, item 22B. Good afternoon, Judge uh, Commissioners. Belinda Reyes, Board Commissioner Torres, um, item 22B, requesting approval of permit for refund to Minerva Munoz in the <coughs> amount of $10. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 2, approval of permit refund for Francisca Martinez in the amount of $75. And item three, requesting approval of permit fee refund to Armando Longoria in the amount of $100. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Budget and management. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Ray Salazar, Department of Budget and Management. Item 23A, presentation of 2023 budget process calendar and development criteria. Judge Commissioners, the Department of Budget and Management is informing the court that we will be opening our budget application program on Monday, May 25th. The budget application program is the inputting software that we'll be using for all requests regarding the 2023 budget process. It'll be open for approximately two weeks and we will be closing the program on Friday, June 10th. Uh, after the information is uploaded and submitted, we will be starting our budget workshop sessions on July 19th, culminating with the final budget adoption on September 27th. Our budget criteria will center around certified revenue streams and debt capacities for existing and future major projects. Our office, the Department of Budget and Management, looks forward to working with your office, representatives, and department heads to identify, understand, and communicate your needs, mandates, and obligations. to approve? Do we, need? We, have, do we have a second? I think it's just a presentation. Okay. Uh, judge? Next item. Yes, item 23B, discussion, consideration, and authorization of emergency expenditures as per Texas Local Government Code 111.070. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item two, approval of the 2022 appropriation of funds from general fund, fund 1100 fund balance to countywide administration in the amount of 5.8 million pursuant to emergency appropriations authorized approved by commissioner's court under the previous item. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, judge commissioner. Item number three, consideration and approval of a resolution designating the county judge of the county of Hidalgo as the authorized representative of the county of Hidalgo to give notice of intent to reimburse expenditures with proceeds 
of tax exempt obligations. Motion to approve. Is there a second? Yeah. Second. I did it here. I'm sorry, <laughs> Commissioner. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 23C, the ARPA grant, requesting approval to resent action previously taken by Commissioner's Court on February 8th, 2022, on agenda item 84475, and delete ARPA project number 22124 063 from the ARPA list. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 2. The ARPA grant discussion, consideration, and action to approve the use of ARPA relief funds for the following projects under the Lalo County American Rescue Plan Stormwater Improvement Program. Project number one, Precinct 4 Benson Road Stormwater Project, project number 22124-094, and I'll proceed and read the rest of the projects. Project number two, Lalo County Precinct 4 North Main Drain, Number three, phase one, stormwater project number 22124095. Project number three, precinct four, north main drain, phase two. North main drain, third section, phase two, stormwater project number 22124-096. And number four, Dallow County precinct four, Huon stormwater project number 22124097. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item D1, Precinct 2, approval of 2022 appropriation of funds for Precinct 2 road maintenance in the road and bridge unassigned fund balance in the amount of 285000 to fund the purchase of equipment. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioner. Thank you. <laughs> Next item. Good afternoon, Judge Commissioner of the Lotto Biomedical Purchasing Department. Uh, agenda item 24A1, discussion, consideration, and action amendment number 21, as drafted and approved as to legal form by Honorable Judge uh, Hawkins Porter Hedges between Hidalgo County and Architect HCR Architecture, Inc., under contract number 16141031, to include the following scope of work in connection with the construction of the new Hidalgo County Courthouse project, subject to purchasing legal final review and approval. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. A requested approval amendment number 21 extended construction contract administration phase services phase one. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And be requesting authority for County Judge and or Mr. Valdeguerra Hidalgo County CEO to sign required documents. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24A2, A requesting approval of the following deductive change order in connection with the construction of Hidalgo County Courthouse from contractor vendor Morganti, Texas Inc. Change order MTI 79 change order will be a reduction to offset Change order uh, number 003 and 004 issued to Texas Wilson for the furniture storage and double handling fees in the amount of 149,040.25. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And be requesting authority for County Judge Edward Valleguerra, Executive Officer, to sign required documents. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And on 24A3, discussion, consideration, and action on work authorization number seven, as drafted and approved as to uh, legal form by Arnold J. H. Hawkins, Porter Hedges, between Delaware County, uh, Delaware County and Jacobs Project Management Services, under contract number 16267A0725, for the provision of additional commissioning program and construction management services. As described in the document in connection with the construction of, Hidalgo, of the construction of the new Hidalgo County Courthouse project, subject to purchasing a legal counsel's final review and approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And be requesting authority for County Judge and or Mr. Valdeguerra Hidalgo County CEO to sign required documents. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
24A4, requesting authority to advertise an RFP for consulting services and project management support for compliance and reporting of coronavirus state and local fiscal recovery funds, SLFRF, including the re-advertising if applicable subject to purchasing and legal review. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24B1A, requesting the ratification of project name on agenda item 85055, previously approved on Commission Report 322-22, as it has been revised to the following emergency management facility project. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And B, requesting approval of final negotiated AIA B101 2017 professional service agreement with Milnet Architectural Services PLOC for the emergency management facility project with authority to issue notice to proceed subject to purchasing a legal final review. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24C1, requesting approval of supplemental agreement number one for services under work authorization number one for contract number 19-231-0128 as submitted by Project Engineer Saints, Inc. to include additional working days for project completion resulting in an estimated cost increase of 259393 for the Precinct 1 Mile 6 West Road project. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24C2A, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4, a professional service. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. B, presentation of scoring grid for the purpose of ranking by the Los County Commissioner's Court of Firms graded through the county's pool pre qualified professional engineering services for precinct one inline check valve stormwater project. Following are the rankings, Supreme Engineering PLLC, 290, International Consulting Engineers, 283, and KCI Technologies, Inc., 279. Does the court wish to rank in the following order? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And C, requesting authority for Hidalgo County Purchasing Department to negotiate a professional engineering service agreement commencing with the number one ranked firm of Supreme Engineering PLLC for Precinct 1 N-Line Check Valve Stormwater Project. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24 c 3 approval of contract number 2202830517 with Lionel Garza Jr. and Associates for appraisal services for property adjacent to the Precinct 1 sanitation site. So, so moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24D1, request and approval supplemental agreement number one to contract number 21094402208 with B2Z Engineering LLC, resulting in an amendment to section seven, compensation and work authorizations of the agreement for precinct two recreational trails connectivity project. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24D2A, pursuant to Texas Local Government Code Chapter Section 263.1512BCD and 263.152A2, action to declare one 1999 Peter Bit water truck and one 2014 cat roll off truck as surplus for the purpose of disposition of the two units for use as trade ends towards the acquisition of one water truck and one sweeper, including the removal of said assets from the inventory list once transaction is completed. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And B, approval to purchase one 2020 Peterbilt 350A water truck and one 2022 Duluevo 850 tier four sweeper through the county's membership participation with purchasing Cooperative of America under contract number PCA o, uh, OD 32220. The 2020 Peterbilt 350 48 Chases water truck from Big D Tractor OLC in the amount of 157,095.67 and the 2022 the level 850 tier four sweeper from Big D Tractor OLC in the amount of 127,725.98. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24 D3 acceptance and approval to execute the final form of professional engineering service agreement subject to the Ohio County DA civil Surf section approval as to legal form 
for the provision of on-call geotechnical and construction material testing services with Terracon consultants for projects located in precinct number two, subject to compliance with form 295. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24 E one a request an exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas local government code 262.024 a for a professional service. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. B presentation of scoring grid for the purpose of ranking by the Ottawa County Commissioners Board of Firms graded through the county's pre qualified professional engineering services for precinct three for a North Sherry Road extension approximately two miles north of SH 107 project. The following are the rankings Saints Inc. 93, Cruz Hogan Consultants Inc. 2, and KCI Technologies Inc. 3. Does the court wish to rank in the following order? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And C, requesting authority for Hidalgo County Purchasing Department to negotiate a professional engineering service agreement commencing with the number one ranked firm, Saints Inc., for Precinct 3 North Sherry Road Extension, approximately two miles north of SH 107 project. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. 24 E 2 A, requesting exemption from better bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262. Point zero two four a for a professional service. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. B presentation of scoring grid for the purpose of ranking by all county commissioners for a firm graded through the county's pool of pre qualified <laughs> professional services for on call professional engineering services for projects located within precinct number three. Following are the rankings Javier Hinojosa Engineering 92, JDJ Engineering LLC 2, Council Engineers LLC the 86. Does the court wish to rank in the following order? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. C. Requesting authority for Hidalgo County Purchasing Department to negotiate a professional engineering service agreement, commencing with the number one ranked firm, Javier Hinojosa Engineering, for the provision of, of on call professional engineering services for projects within precinct number three. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24E3A, requesting approval to recent action taken by Commissioner's Court on 12-28-2021, AI83872, in relation to the professional service agreement with Terra Inc. for professional engineering services for the air current incinerator. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And B, requesting approval for exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4, a professional service in Texas Government Code 2254.003A1 and 2. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. C, requesting approval to award a professional engineering service agreement to Terra Inc. in the amount of 27000 in connection with the air current incinerator. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24E4, approval of supplemental agreement number five to work authorization number three for Liberty Road project from US Expressway 83 to FM 2221 with LNG engineers under contract number 12, 246, 1016, an increase of $11,050.80. Motion to approve. Second. 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 Yeah, motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24F1, amendment of interlocal cooperation agreement between Hidalgo County Precinct Number 4 and City of McAllen to extend the limits of the original interlocal cooperation agreement to a revised total limits of Roof Road to Mon Mac Road. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24F2, approval of supplemental agreement number 4 to work authorization number 1. For Ware Road Project FM 2220 from FM 676 mile 5 to FM 1925 under contract number 15136602 with LNG Engineering for Precinct 4 with no increase decrease of the original work authorization. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24 G1 requested authority to purchase two 2023 Chevrolet PPV Tahoe through our membership with by board contract number 601-19 with Conville County uh, Chevrolet in the amount of 99,996.74 Constable Precinct 2. So Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24H1, approval month to month service order form to provide Ethernet services to the courthouse annex. Monthly payment of 449 with authority for County Judge and Mr. Daniel Salinas 
Loudoun County IT Director to sign and record documentation subject to final legal review. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24H2, request and approval of service order with Spectrum, a subsidiary of Charter Communications Operating LLC for the Loudoun County Information Technology Department contract number 2202520517 or cable services for the new courthouse in the amount of 246 per month and a one-time installation charge of 375 with authority for county judge or Daniel Salinas to sign all required documents. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24H3, pursuant to contract number 18194-1218 in accordance with provision 2.3 modification in the, in the executed statement of work and 3.1 term between Yellow County and SATA Systems Inc. for project title cloud, uh, cloud hosted and managed email services requesting approval to add 600 additional licenses and will continue in effect for 48 months after the effective date and will renew automatically for consecutive renewal terms of 12 months with uh, SOW or any other required documents to be signed by the Alu County judge. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. 24H4, approval amendment number one to Dell Technologies <coughs> Master Lease Agreement for computers and monitors for the new courthouse through our membership with DIR, T, uh, DIR contract number TSO 3763 with authority for county judge to sign any required documentation. Uh, we are asking for quantity of 1,000 precision 3450 small form factor and at a cost of 976.73 for 36 months in the amount of 976,730 total and a quantity of 2,000 Dell 24 monitor P2422H uh, for 36 months in the amount of 471,360 and one Dell service installation in the amount of 75,036 for a total of 1,523,126. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. 24I1A, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4, a professional service. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And B, presentation of evaluation committee scoring grid results for Lalo County CSA architectural roof assessments for CSBG disaster relief program. Under, under uh, solicitation 2022-0126-0419 EBZ, the following are the rankings. Sames 191, Armco 174, Sam Garcia 174, CG5 167, Beam 163, and Amtec 150. Move to approve as presented. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Requesting authority for the purchasing department to negotiate an architectural professional service agreement with the number one ranked firm, Saints Inc., for the above mentioned project. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24J1, requesting authority to enter into a one year fax service agreement with Copy Graphics Inc. for two model Canon LC 2050P fax machines at a cost of 214.50 each, totally at 429 per year from June 3rd, 2022 to June 2nd, 2023, with authority for county judge or assignee to sign the required documentation. So move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24K1 A and B, seeking no action, judge, commissioners. Okay. Okay. Item 24L1, requesting authority to purchase four HVAC units and installation through our membership with goodbye contract number 2122-70D000 in the total amount of 86,995.80 for the Juvenile Justice Center with authority for county judge to sign any required documentation. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24M1A, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code Chapter 262.024A for a personal professional service. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And be authority to issue a purchase order to Joanna Torres and Diago DBA of Psych Inc. for interim psychiatric consultation services for Rizal County at a fee of $200 with a minimum of four hours per case not to exceed $3,500. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
24N1A, requesting action to nominate at least three professional engineering firms from Hidalgo County, approved pool of engineering services for the purpose of evaluating in connection with feasibility and needs assessment study for an animal control facility or retrofitting an existing facility. Let's start with one. Uh, B to Z engineer. Which one? B to Z. I'm fine with B to Z. I don't have any money in mind, Judge, but I'll, uh, my uh, chief of staff will be evaluating. Uh, nominate Zames. Zames. Sam's. Okay. We'll leave it at those two. Okay. And B, requesting action to appoint, designate, uh, and oh, evaluate election committee to grade score oh, the nominated firm. Right. I think it's three. at least three. And, and item um, request three. I need a minimum of three. Sorry about that, Judge. Uh, well, let's put George Pettis. Okay, motion to approve the three as presented. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. <clears throat> and be requesting action to appoint the, or designate an evaluation committee to grade score the nominated firms. My chief of staff, David Suarez. Mando Garza. Jorge Cautec. Dr. Cautec. Isaac Sulamana. Motion <clears throat> to approve as presented. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24N2, requesting acceptance and approval of final negotiated professional service agreement, your contract number 2202140517, and work authorization number one with Brownstone Consultants LLC in connection with the construction and project management oversight of El Paraiso project. Motion to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That is it, Judge. Thank you. Mr. Belmares. Yes. Um, under uh, 24I CSA, your grid, you had two individuals with the same score. Do you have, is there a requirement to, to draw by lot to distinguish one from the other? There's no requirement at this point in time because the, the highest ranked firm came in at Sames, which is Sames Engineering. Okay. And that's who the commissioners, uh, Court has approved for uh, to engage in negotiations. Thank you, sir. Yes. Judge Commissioners, with your permission, item 25, 25A, 1, 2, and 3, there's no uh, action to be taken this week. 25B, um, discussion and action on order to approve private bid submitted for struck off properties under T090 07 B and T0. 0954-17-A. This was uh, referenced uh, this morning. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item 26A, uh, or 26, discussion, consideration, and possible action. A, county response to disaster health emergency. One, CARES Act and American Rescue Plan Fund. Uh, there's no specific action to be taken. Uh, 26B, measures necessary to preserve public health and safety. Um, uh, there is no specific action uh, to be taken. 26C, uh, direction regarding county government operations, but not, uh, but not limited to essential functions, judge commissioners. Uh, we continue to follow CDC recommended guidelines. Uh, and work with our facilities management department to address any issues related to the uh, to the pandemic or our uh, COVID-19. Uh, the health and safety of our residents doing business with the County of Hidalgo is first and foremost, as is the health and safety of our employees providing that valuable service. Um, Judge Commissioners, we have uh, already addressed closed session. So if I may go to uh, open session, and that would be item 29 um, and so item 29 open session 29a real estate acquisition and appropriation for same judge commissioners uh, I will proceed as directed by the court and executive session 29b pending and or potential litigation there's no specific action to be taken 29C, discussion, consideration, and possible action regarding response to public health emergency. There's no specific action to be taken, but there was general action uh, under DBM. And 29D, discussion, consideration, and action regarding employment, appointment of budget officers. Judge Commissioners, I will proceed as directed. 
And if I may, going back to item 28A, there is no action to be taken, and 29 or 28B, there is no action to be taken. There is uh, no need for close or open, so there's no action on item 30 and item 31. We have adjourned. Next uh, meeting date? It will be May 31st. It is Tuesday, and that will be a morning session. It will be morning? Yes, because that is the fifth week of the month and not the fourth. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Thank you. everyone.